hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am doing a collective reading for this new moon in aquarius which is tomorrow on the 21st okay so it's midnight i got i want a little bit of stuff down but y'all can do y'all own research okay the new moon in aquarius is on january the 21st 2023 it is a time to set intention that help you set your frequencies to a the life you want to live this is a very energetic new moon, meaning it's a time to work on your inner energetic body and the vibrations you are emitting to the world. Whatever you are meet attracts energy back in. This energy may come to you in the form of people, projects, resources, or other serendipitous encounters that help you manifest your visions. It all starts with you though, in the energy you are vibrating daily. This new moon can help you fine-tune your frequency to make sure it reflects your authentic truth and the life you want to live. Just like you wash your face and brush your teeth each day, you can also set your frequency. First, though, you need to know what frequency best represents who you really are. Finding this truth is where the work happens. This new moon in Aquarius. Take a moment and feel who you are past all the patterns society has placed upon you. Look past the expectations handed to you by your caregivers. Go beyond the assumption people make when they first see you. Peel back the conditions you have. I mean, peel back the condition you had to meet the to meet to feel loved, accepted, successful, and whole. Break through your old programming and see as just that a program you were taught to run in your conscious mind. As you journey through these layers, feel your pure state, the one you came into this world with before you were molded into something else. What is that energy? Is it love, joy, hope? Does it feel abundant and worthy? Take some time this new moon in Aquarius to sit with yourself and, under, and honor your core essence. Feel the, bright, feel the vibration that is in your home. Once you understand your core frequency, look at your conditioned pattern, limiting beliefs, and negative outlooks that disturb it. In simple words, what lowers your vibration? What takes you out of your pure essence and dampens your frequency? Over this new moon, look at your automatic reactions and patterns. Investigate your inner narrative and become aware of when and how you complain, blame, or focus on the negative. While life isn't always positive and fun, it's important to notice when you are spiraling downward and focusing too much on the negative. When negative feelings arise, give them space to be heard and seen while also redirecting your attention back to your core frequency. You have a choice each day to stay in your frequency. You desire or allow another one to take over. Yes, there may be intrusive thoughts, worries, and situations that lower your vibration, but you always have to have the choice to return home to yourself. Returning to your home frequency can take some work. We can't just avoid negative feelings or thoughts. When we do this, they tend to get louder. We need to acknowledge them while also acknowledging that we are not our thoughts or our feelings. If you are feeling sad or anxious, this does not make you a sad or anxious person. Rather, you are a person experiencing sadness or anxiety. The emotions do not define you and don't make up your core frequency. They are merely passing through you and you, and you do not need to become attached to them. They do not represent who you are at your core, and in many ways, your thoughts lie to you or at least don't communicate your truth. Over this new moon, notice the thoughts and emotions that show a frequency in your consciousness. Where do they come from? What are they trying to convince you of? Is it true? For instance, if you have a thought that says you are not good enough for a chosen career, did that thought come from your core? Chances are it did not. It most likely was handed to you by someone else and becomes a pattern in your psyche. As you work with this new moon in Aquarius, set intentions that, helps you, that helps you recognize when you allow thoughts or emotions to define you. Notice when you allow them to change your vibration and take you away from the frequency of your soul. The more you understand what thoughts and emotions lower your vibration, the better you will become at simply acknowledging them and letting them pass. See them as drifting through your being and do not become attached to any of them. Do not let them change your vibration and affect the frequency you are sending out to the world. Harness the energy of this new moon to help you create practices you can 
you can do each day to help you set your frequency. You like you decide what shirts you wear. You can take control of your vibration. When you do, you take control of your life. When you send out the vibration of gratitude, abundance returns. When you send out joy, more joy floods your world and experiences to help you remain joyful. Like, like attract like in the world of energy. Remember that as you clench your intentions on this new moon, the new moon in Aquarius sits near, near Pluto in Capricorn, bringing this energy into our consciousness. Pluto brings up past pain and trauma. On this new moon, it illuminates how unresolved issues from our past may be affecting our current frequency. When we allow our past to shape us, it constrains our expansion and our ability to live in the present. Living in the present is essential for owning our frequency. Spend some time reflecting on past pain and how it may be affecting your vibration today. What healing work do you need to do to clear this from your energy? How can you learn from it and resolve it so that it can no longer affect you? You cannot change your past, but you can prevent it from shaping how you feel today. Jupiter is also involved in this new moon energy. The moon and sun form a sextile with this planet, which adds its energy to the day. Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It reminds us that we have potential and with the right dedication, we can meet that potential. Jupiter asks you to see the bigger picture of your life and energy with this new moon. It wants you to see the possibilities in front of you and know that you can achieve anything. Jupiter reminds us that happiness is an inside job. Our outer world is created by our inner world. If we feel expense, if we feel expensive, then our life expands. If we live in fear and contract our energy, our world contracts. As you work with Jupiter energy on the new moon, allow it to lead you to your energetic potential. You can embody a frequency that attracts everything you need to reach your highest visions. You just, you just need to tune into it each day and release anything that lowers your frequency, your vibration, your invitation. Let Aquarius show you the way. Start thinking of yourself as energy. You just have to be, you, you just have to. You just happen to be taking form as a physical being without any emotions. But they are not your ultimate truth. Your truth is energy. And that energy is capable of anything. Okay. So, y'all gonna do more research on that. Okay. Make sure y'all intentions is positive. Okay. Good. Okay. So, we about to begin. I, I spent seven minutes on that. So, let's begin. Oh, the overall theme is Ten of Swords. So, be afraid you Gemini, or y'all just over some shit. Okay. So let's begin. Okay, Holy Spirit, what do the collective needs to know for this new moon in Aquarius? What do the Aquarius needs? I mean, what do the collective needs to know about this new moon in Aquarius? What do the collective needs to know about this new moon in Aquarius? What do the Aquarius? What do the collective needs to know about this new moon in Aquarius? What do the collective needs to know about the new moon in Aquarius? What do the collective needs to know about the new moon in Aquarius? Okay. Overall energy for you all is the Hierophant Taurus. I'm here with Pluto. We got the Ten of Pentacles of Taurus, okay? A whole family of military people, okay? Or major money is coming in, okay? So try to hold on to this money, okay? So let's begin. Can I get six for the collector? What do they need to know for this new moon in Aquarius? Okay. Four more. Okay. Two more. One more. All right. They all fell on each other, okay? Everything is out in the open except for one. So what's out in the open is the Three of Pentacles, Virgo. The Sun, a Leo. The Three of Wands, a Leo. The Knight of Swords, a Gemini. And the Ten of Cups, a Pisces, okay? Three, three could be significant. A team is looking forward to something, but it's, about, it's not going to happen, though. So whatever this team looking forward to is just not going to work, okay? Doing this new moon, okay? They probably already set their intentions. It's just not going to work out, okay? 
Next, we got these two different together. We got the three of pentacles and the sun. You will know the truth about this group or this team or about this job. Okay. Or somebody that's clothed. Whoever is clothed right now, they will be revealed. Next, we got the ten of cups and the knights of swords. Okay. A family is taking action on something. Basically, on this team or on this agenda. Okay. A family about to take a family about to take action on this agenda. Okay, what is hidden from you all is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Look forward to somebody losing money in their life, okay? Somebody about to lose money for something they done did with this team or with this group or with this agenda that's going on, okay? Overall energy for this for the collective doing this new moon in Aquarius is the star. Aquarius energy, okay? So, believing, okay? Faith, okay? Fortune. Some of you are in fortune. What's the three of pentacles? Why is this group cloaked? Is this group good or bad? Three of pentacles for this collect for this new moon in Aquarius. Okay, it is hidden on the sun and the three of pentacles. We have the eight of cups of Scorpio. Yeah, okay. You need to walk away from this agenda. Okay. Walk away from these people. Walk walk away from the people. Okay. They don't have good good intentions with you, basically. Page of Cups, okay? Some regarding a child, some regarding immaturity, or somebody acting mature, okay? Immature about their home life or their foundation or their family or something, okay? What's this Eight of Cups? Why did a person have to walk away from the truth or walk away from this agenda? Eight of Cups, okay? It is hidden on the sun and the Three of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Pentacles of Virgo, okay? Because somebody can do bad on their own, okay? Whoever you are, you don't need this team. You don't need these people, okay? You successful without them, okay? I mean, they bad people, they bring you down. At the Two of Pentacles, the King of Swords, okay? Somebody's trying to juggle something when it comes to the food or telling the food or hiding the food or where the fuck the case may be. I don't know. What's the what's the truth? What's the breakthrough in this reading? The sun for the collective doing his new moon in Aquarius. Okay. It is hidden by the three of pentacles. We got the ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay. This team is not your family. These people are not your family. That's the breakthrough. You about to find out who your real people are, who your real family, who your real friends are. Four of Pentacles or Taurus, okay? Holding on, okay? You holding on to these people. Whoever you are, you holding on to these people, okay? I mean, you don't want to be alone, okay? What's the three of ones looking forward to doing this new moon in Aquarius? Three of ones, okay? It is, it is, it is only open by the three of Pentacles in the sun. We got the six of swords in Aquarius, okay? Look forward to something moving out, okay? Like I said, the fruit is coming out, okay? You can look forward to the fruit, basically, Five of one, okay, it's going to cause conflict, but you have to know, I guess. You have to know about this. What's the sister souls right, Kregel? What's the what's the fruit for this new moon in Aquarius? Okay, it's only open on the ancestors. We got the devil in reverse, okay? Just know you're about to get freed from wherever the hell you are trapped in for it right now, okay? You're about to get freed, okay, from the food or from the people. We got the Emperor and Aries, okay? Some going a father figure, okay? Or somebody got authority over something. What's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Why is people losing money during this new moon in Aquarius? Okay. It is hidden on the sun and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Page of Swords in the air signs, okay? In reverse, okay? Somebody's losing money because they don't want to spy no more. They don't want to be nosy no more. They don't want they don't want to initiate something no more. Okay. Maybe somebody, maybe this team, whoever this team is that is cloaked, had people washing. Whoever this Virgo is, whoever this nine of pentacles is, they were washing this person and they person don't want to do it no more. They you won't whoever you are, you're not gonna get paid no more. Okay, basically. Whoever they're not gonna get paid no more. We got the fool and Aries, okay. It's my breaking free from their job description, from they from being a spy or something, okay? Somebody could work for the government or something. Why the Knight of Swords attacking? What's the attack in this reading during this new moon in Aquarius? Okay, we got two. They're both hidden on the Three of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Seven of Pentacles of Taurus, okay? Somebody just waiting to clear up the confusion about this group or about this agenda that's going on, okay? That's the attack. 
I'm just about to finish the expose or some shit. Okay, I don't know. Somebody's waiting, waiting for the somebody's just waiting for the go ahead to do it. Okay. To clear the confusion or something. Over our energy, the Knight of Pentacles, the Taurus. Okay. Something is taking its time to come out, though. We got the Sister Cuss about your past, about your childhood. We got the Magician, okay? A cover-up is happening when it comes to some kids or when it comes to your childhood. What's the Ten of Cups for the for this new moon in Aquarius? Is this good or bad for this, for this new moon? Okay. It is hidden by the sun. We got the Eight of Swords of Gemini. A family is blinded to something, or a family about to go to jail, or if going to get trapped in some shit, okay? We got the moon, the King Syrian, okay? Something is being hidden. The family is hiding something. Nice of Pentacles, okay? It's coming out, though. They're about to go to jail or some shit. Okay, what's the outcome to this reading for this new moon in Aquarius? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. It is hidden by the sun and the ten of pentacles in reverse. Got the four of cups of King Syrian, okay? Somebody feel dissatisfied with their family or with this money or with this or with this truth that's coming out, okay? Or this group did not really know you got money like that. You very successful, okay? They didn't know that. We got the fool, okay, in Aries, okay? A new beginning, okay? You about to start something new in your life, basically. What's the outcome? Yeah, you, yeah. What's the outcome to this reading for this new moon in Aquarius? The sun and the ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay. It's down the open by the sun. We got the five of ones in reverse forgiveness. Okay. The food thing, they want you to forgive them. Okay. But it's up to you. Okay. King of Cups. King of Cups are King Syrian. Okay. Very emotional. Somebody's very emotional about some shit. We got the five of cups. The six of wands, the six of cups about the past, and the queen of wands. What's the outcome to this reading doing? It? What's the outcome to this reading for this new moon in Aquarius? I heard King Syrian, so if you manifest it for this full moon, it's coming to pass during this new moon, okay? Outcome, three of wands, six of swords, and the devil in reverse for this new moon, okay? It is hidden by the soul message. We have the ace of cups and the water sign, okay? Um, somebody's body's about to get freed, okay? So, if you have been manifesting to clear off abuse or rape, it will happen, okay? We got the temperance, the Sagittarius, okay? So just wait, just patiently wait, okay? For your rapist's energy to get off of you, okay? One more time, what's the ace of cups for this new moon in Aquarius? Okay, it's only open by the sun. We got the four of pentacles in reverse, okay? Yeah, it's over, okay? Your vagina is good, okay? Your soul ties from your, you know, you know, your sexual history is cleared, okay? You starting over, okay? There is a seven-year cycle, so, yeah. We got the hubman, they will go, okay? You have been praying to break these soul ties, okay? For people you don't want to be, you know, attached to no more, okay? What's the outcome to this reading for this new moon in Aquarius? Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. It's down the open by the Five of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We got the King of Cups of King Syrian. Okay. Where the King of Cups is, where this King Syrian is, is it being watched? Okay. Or somebody hate this person. You know, there's a lot of hate going on behind this King of Cups back. We got the Queen of Wands of Sagittarius. What's the King of Cups? Is he good or bad for this new moon in Aquarius? Okay, it's only open by the sun, the five of ones in reverse. We got the ten of ones in reverse, okay? Somebody just need to let go of this person, okay? Let go of this king of cups, let go of this king of Syrian. Let him go, okay? Don't hate him, though. We got the temperance of Sagittarius, okay? This person could be gone off this earth, or this person is sick, I'm hearing, or this person is just, just patiently, no feelings gonna leave, okay? Just, you know, keep forgiving, okay? What's the outcome to this reading for this new moon in Aquarius? Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay, it is hidden by the sun. We got the Fool in Aries. Okay, somebody's taking a leap away from something, okay? From the confusion. Okay, new beginnings is basically happening for y'all. Nine of Cups of Pisces, okay? Be happy, basically. Be happy. What's the outcome to this reading for this new moon in Aquarius? Ten of Cups and the Eight of Swords for the collective 
doing this new moon in Aquarius. Okay, we got two, three, we got three. Okay, this these two is hidden by the sun. We got the five of swords in reverse, the seven of one, the Leo, and it's only open on the page of swords in reverse, ten of one in reverse. We have the Empress, the Libra of Taurus. There's a lot of hate going on behind this empress back, but she do not know. So I do not want her to know about this forgiveness, this recovery, or this hate. Okay. Well, somebody's hating on you behind your back. You don't even know it, okay? Overall energy for this new moon in a collect the outcome to this reading for the collective for, for this new moon in Aquarius is the two oh ones in Aries, okay? You choosing yourself basically. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna choose behind that is the strength. Yeah, you choosing to be by yourself. Okay. The ancestors are saying doing this new moon in Aquarius. Just the souls in Aquarius. Keep going. What do the ancestors want y'all to know about this new moon in Aquarius? What do the ancestors want y'all to know about this new moon in Aquarius? We have the daughter sticks in the fire sign. Like I said, keep going, keep moving. Y'all need to keep going, keep moving on with y'all lives. We got the strength. We got Miss Ida, okay? You good by yourself, okay? Um, I'm here. You courageous, okay? What's the daughter sticks? Keep moving for this new moon. Okay, fell on the sun. Eight of cups, ten of pentacles, five of wands in reverse. Got the five of pentacles in reverse, okay? Keep moving while somebody else is losing, okay? You moving, but this person is losing or some shit. You winning, they losing. Five or six of Leo. A lot of gossip going on, like people talking about you, okay? But you keep, you just keep moving, okay? Your underworld, the underworld is saying the Sister Cup Scorpio. What do the underworld wants the Aquarius to know about this new moon? What do the underworld wants the collective to know about this new moon? We got the hangman, Pisces. Teaches natural and planetary sign, light cool, light above grave, and move by the souls may be stolen. I'm here in body snatch, I'm here in body suit, so you about to get in light in on the fruit of this card, okay? Then we got the sister cups of Scorpio. Teaches with thoughts and languages, gives one the good invitation, makes one beloved by friendly folks. Trigger warns somebody shy was skinned and made into a body suit, okay? They put some skin it, okay? Y'all soul is telling y'all, what do y'all believe about y'all money? Do y'all believe smash your dreams? Okay, what do the collective need to know about their soul doing this new moon in Aquarius? They soul is telling them to do what doing this new moon in Aquarius? Y'all soul is telling y'all, what are the dominant emotions that run your life? How do you feel your day? Stress or joy? Fuss or anger? Anxiety or peace? We have only today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin feeling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. Okay. Today's soul action is to lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the beliefs that you have to achieve something to feel it? Then we have, what is y'all body telling y'all right now? Y'all guidance for this new moon in Aquarius is the will of fortune, fate. Something is fated to happen, however it is. Okay, what's the guidance for this new moon in Aquarius? What's the guidance for this new moon in Aquarius? What is the guidance for this new moon in Aquarius? Y'all guidance? To take heed to is numerology, position, cuts. Okay, cut a lot of people out of your life. They're no longer there, okay? We about to cut some things out. We got coins, abundance, okay? I'm about to lose money or something, okay? Or somebody else is. Okay, what is the overall room for this new moon in Aquarius? We got R in reverse, okay? This is not a part of somebody's journey or life, okay? This is not supposed to happen, basically, to somebody. Yeah, overall, faith is the dog, okay? Loyalty, okay?
okay? Or somebody's an unexpected enemy since they're going different ways, okay? What's the overall fate for the Aquarius? And what's the overall fate for this new moon in Aquarius? What's his overall fate for this new moon in Aquarius? The overall fate is the dog again, okay? Then we got the lilies, okay? Yes. Be aware of unsuspected enemies surrounding you during this new moon. So do some attention to reveal them, okay? Yashana messages is live life to the fullest. Trillions could be people or money on the five of ones in reverse. We have bees on the three of ones, the four of pentacles in reverse. We have fake guys and devils. We have cards like this. We have billions could be people or money on the king of cups. We have tag they eat. We have abundance. We have someone is a target. We have unsolved. We have fall on the sister swords and the devil. We got miscarriage. We got eye for an eye. We have voice recordings. We have mutilations. We have shubby could be significant. We have new love. We have chickens. We have dead roaches. We have conscious. We have molestation, rape, trigger warning. We got BBL. We got money. We got succubus. We got the ghetto. We have lawyers. We have blood money. We have vendetta. And we have handwriting. Time is going to pass for y'all. It's Friday. Finalize something, just let go. So today or next Friday. When is all going to come to pass for this new moon in Aquarius? When is all going to come to pass for this new moon in Aquarius? Okay. We got three. It will work out soon. Three days or three weeks. So in March or on Wednesday or Tuesday or something, okay? Then we got 11. Listen to friends. 11 days, 11 weeks, so or November. Hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I'm out. Peace. Don't forget to tilt or just shine at me on my social media. I'm out. Peace.